Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Digitizing and OML Embroidery. And today we are working in Corel Draw and we are going to bring it into Hatch a different way. So I do have X6 and I am connected to Hatch, but what if you have another version of Corel? Um, any other version. I have this open as a separate um, application. So that what that means is I have Corel open and I have Hatch open and we're going to pretend they're not connected. Now if you're using an earlier version or a late version, a later one, seven, I think they're up to eight, it may look a little bit different but you should be able to do the exact same things. Um, you may have more, they might have added more, I'm really not sure, but we're using this as a standalone program. So this is how we're going to do it. So let's do the same thing as we did in the other video, but we have to do a few changes in the end. So let's type the word hatch again, and that's really small, it's only 12 points. So you can change it up here, let's highlight it, and let's change it up here to what, we'll do 36. Now we could use it bigger than that. I want it really big so everyone can see what we're doing. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And there we go. Let's change this to black. And I think that's probably good enough for now. Right click, bring it down, let go. And we're gonna do copy here. Now we're gonna change this one to red just because it turned out nicely. So we're going for a shadow effect like in the other video so you can do it to the side, you can do it the other side, and I'm just holding down the left mouse key and moving the red letters around if you like it like that or a little further, or you could do it even further than that, and that gives it almost a 3D effect. And if you look in the letter H, that's what I'm kind of gauging it on. When you do it like this, the effect isn't quite as much, it's more of a drop shadow. When you do it all the way like this, and move it down so you don't have any gaps at the top or the bottom. You have to play with it just a little bit. That gives it kind of a 3D effect. You can do a drop shadow on the bottom and on the top, just move it around. We can do this one if we like, just to be different. There we go, that is perfect. I think that looks great. We can do, why don't we try the 3D effect like this? Because I think that looks spectacular. And you can play around and you can come up with some really cool effects. Now, most of the fonts that you're doing will work for this. It's pretty easy. Now I let go and that's how I want it. So then I'm gonna select both of them and we're gonna go up to arrange and we're gonna go to shaping and the one we want is trim. So you just click on trim. Now, if we were connected to Hatch, we would have the Hatch colors and the Hatch buttons, but we're not. So what do we do? Well, we have to save it, but we have to export the file. If you go to save as, you're gonna get a little confused because you save, this is basically a working file. Um, it's Corel Draws file. So consider it the same as an EMB file. And that'll, if we need to go back into it, that'll have all of our editing, all of our layers, all of everything we've done. So you might get a little confused and say, well, which one is, is uh, Hatch or Beninia or Janome? Which one is that gonna read? Well, none of them, none of them. Th those are just basically working files. So the same as with embroidery, we need to export. So we go to export, the shortcut for that is Control E. And you can either do, just pick one of the top ones, not AI, but just keep it simple. So PNG or JPEG, they both work the same. So let's just do PNG and we're gonna call it Hatch 2. And I'm gonna save it. If you look up here, you know where you're saving it to and I'm gonna save it right to my desktop. So I'm gonna be able to find it. Hatch 2 in PNG form, you click export and another screen comes up. And the only thing that you need to pay attention to, it looks like a whole lot of stuff. It's basically set up just fine. There's so many formats you could do. Leave it on the default. Click transparency. All these checkerboards here means it's transparent. It doesn't always work that way when Hatch reads it, but don't think we're going to be stitching out a checkerboard like that because we're not. So click OK. Now we are done in Corel. 
and we've exported it. So now we're back in Hatch and this is how we do it. Insert artwork just exactly like any other that we're doing and we had Hatch 2. So let's open that and there we have it and it comes in and add as an image and it's perfect. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do it. The closest way that I can figure that's to the converting is click to fill um, click to fill we don't want it turning so click to fill or let's do this one auto digitize embroidery so we'll do it two ways so auto digitize embroidery and this is what comes up and this seems like a lot but we know there's black red and a white background so we're gonna go right down to three enter and then this comes up so we want the white is the background so this is a drop down and we go to admit and so it's going to ignore that one so details we want this one to fill that's our top line and that one is in the black so this part is the, the sorry i could show you here the details and click ok and boom guess what you have you have exactly the same as what we were doing with the converting it's the same it's absolutely the same and it looks just as good now all you'd have to do is move your design or move the image and it's exactly the same you can go ahead and delete the image if you want but i'm going to show you one more way so let's go undo move and let's do undo auto digitize embroidery select it and we're going to do click to fill and what you do look at it, it kind of goes around like that you click on it once and it comes up with exactly what you want if you have a if you want a little more control let's stitch let's go to black if it comes up with the screen asking about the colors you know that you need to put three colors red black and white and then you don't even have to click on anything else other than that now this will give you a lot of stitch control doing it one by one it's nothing hard it's nothing you know too difficult to do you just make sure you're clicking on the right ones and here and here it's a little more clicking but you also have a little more control now these of course whoops these of course let me do undo edit undo these of course are uh, not letters it doesn't come in as lettering so we'll delete that but they are objects let's um let's go to objects and you can see they are objects and they are pieces the only difference is this isn't a letter they're all separate pieces but that's okay if you want to change it to satin now you're gonna have to play around with it and you're gonna have to put some angles in and everything like that i think it looks great flat like that let's see how big we are we are five by one so quite large so you would have to do it in flat stitches but because it's so large you now have all the stitch control that you had before you could do motif if you wanted that's kind of cool um, but you have all the stitch control that you normally have it's just the same as if you digitize it and because you did it in corral everything is nice and sharp and clear and it looks awesome i think it absolutely looks awesome so it's just as easy it's just as easy to do it with corel draw as a separate program everything works the same you just need to export and then you need to auto digitize which is basically what the connection is doing so if you don't have version 6 no worries use whatever version you have and export and that is how you work with corel draw whatever version and hatch and uh, come up with some really cool designs thanks everyone for watching please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me know you want more videos just like this thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video